Welcome back everybody to Tulio Studio and today we're making Sonic out of polymer clay. So first we are going to make the wire skeleton. So I'm using aluminum wire so we're just cutting it and shaping it. We're going to make him in a running pose to make it look like he's going very fast like in all the previews for the new movie which is coming out soon I don't know when it's coming out exactly though so using some dark blue clay just mix some with black and blue we'll be using that for the legs and the belly which we'll be working on now just coating the wire skeleton in the clay it's easier to do it with a skeleton with wire because it gives something for the clay to hold on to and is easier to work with putting on his other leg and we'll add some more details later on like his quills we'll be adding some quill details on but first we just have the legs done and I'm using my sculpting tools and a razor for cutting the clay and shaping it which I got off of Amazon so right now I'm working on the tail which is just a small amount of clay it doesn't need to be too big he doesn't have a long tail and those are his other quill quills which are other pieces of clay not too big but bigger than the tail and just adding the quill texture and put I put a ball of tan or peach clay on his belly. So after it's baked, we're going to be doing an antiquing effect where I am putting some, painting it with blue, all except for the belly, and then rubbing some of it off. That way the blue paint gets into the grooves and won't come off, so we'll get a nice quill texture look. So that will look nice in the end. So there it is, you can see the different colors of blue. Next we'll be working on the head. We'll be using some aluminum foil. We'll be shaping that into a ball so we don't have to use too much clay for the head. And his head should be about, maybe about the size of his body because he's got a pretty big head. So just using some more making some more dark blue so we're just coating the ball of aluminum foil in dark blue clay and we're gonna leave a little space open and that will be where we will put the eyes just testing it on the head to make sure it's about the right size I think it's a good decent size so getting some white and this is going to be for the eyes because he's got very big eyes just cutting off a little bit of extra clay around the opening just a little bit not too much and so next we're going to be putting the white I shaped it into a kind of a heart like shape or a triangle More like a triangle so just pressing that on and making sure that it's round so getting that finished making sure it will fit yeah I think that will fit that will fit just fine you don't want to you want to make sure not to get too much blue on the white and sorry I keep getting off frame I'm still getting used to doing the clay videos so I made a T out of the dark blue and I made it where one end goes down between the eyes so those are his, like his eyebrows so that looks good and so now this was a failed attempt to work on the eyes I made a little log with of blue with black in the middle but it didn't work out so for the mouth I used tan clay and I'm doing some more quill textures on it 
I'll use my tools to give him a little smile because I end up black for the nose. Adding his, what would you call it, like his hair or his quills, whatever it is. I think they're his quills, yeah, like his, yeah, similar. Anyway, so he has five of them. He has one on top and two on each side of his head. And this will be what will make the character Sonic look more like Sonic. Adding the quill texture to those two. There we go. And then just pulling them out a little bit more to make give it more of a lively effect. I think that looks really nice, so after it's baked, I'm just cutting out a little bit of the bottom clay so I can fit the wire neck of the body up to the head just cutting a little bit of it away just pushing it on there we go just trimming a little bit of the head and the shoulders away to make so that the head and the body will fit together better now I'm antiquing the dark blue head with the lighter blue. Try not to get any light blue on the eyes, nose, or the peach. I got a little bit, but I think it still looks good. Just cleaning the little bit of blue off with with um, Clark's wipes or any other wipes you might have available. Antiquing the inside. And taking most of the paint off and this will make a really nice quill effect in the end now just using a little bit of I think forced green I think it is using a little bit of green for his eyes using paint also using some black for the inside of his eye and then we'll be adding a little dab of white up in one up near the top of the eye for the way the light is shining I think that's how it's supposed to look now we're using onto the arms I'm using peach for those and I'm also gonna give them quill texture but I'm not gonna antique those with blue because that would not look right So I thought it would be a good idea to make Sonic because the new movie's coming out. It's a good, it's a simple character to start out with if you're doing play. Not the simplest, so leave comments down below if you'd like me to make any other Nintendo character or movie character. Just let me know, and I'll see if I can make them. So just finishing up on the other hand. Okay, now that that is cooked, we'll be working on the boots. Just getting a thin piece of white clay and wrapping it around the bottom of the leg. Not too thin because we want to make it look like the socks that are coming out of his shoes. Or, yeah, his shoes. Just wrapping those around. And I used my tools to add a little bit of texture to make it look like the socks were kind of rolled up. Just cutting off the very tips of them so they'll fit onto the shoes. Yep, just adding a little bit of detail. Not too much, because you don't want to make it look too weird. These are the shoes. I took two pieces of red and put them on a and put a piece of white between them. Now I'm just cutting around it to make it look like his shoes. And the shoes also have a golden what is it? A golden buckle that we will make later. So there we go, just putting the shoe on, making the second one, which will be made pretty much like the first one. The shoes are pretty simple, I'm just cutting off little bits to make it a little bit rounder. Make sure you don't get any red on, make sure you don't get too much red onto the white, or else it will make it a pink color, which is not what you want, or not what we want. And so, 
just finishing up the shoes I think the running pose looks pretty good so far pushing a piece of wire up through his right foot I think it is because we'll use that when I make the stand later making the belt just cutting out a little area or a little space in the square using some alcohol with a I forgot what you call a swab to get rid of the red that got onto the white clay putting the belt on there we go now we're working on the gloves and these will be the hand parts like right there working on the hands I just took a rectangle of clay and added hands onto it and then I took a separate piece of white and used that as the thumb the first belt buckle didn't turn out well so I made another one and this is after it's baked and the pieces sort of fell off when I took it out so just using super glue to put them back on and the super glue works pretty well and holds things on pretty good gluing the shoes on yeah, that's good now we're just gluing the head on we're almost finished using some white paint just to get over little spots of lint that don't really look good yep just getting little spots that don't look the best adding a little bit more blue on the very tips of his quill hair or hair quills just to make it look a little bit brighter and then rubbing away some of the bottom so it kind of blends with the other blue now we will work on the stand so I'm taking a piece of black clay and rolling it out you want to make sure that it's all even cutting out a square making sure that it's flat on all sides sizing it up that looks good trimming off just a little bit of the black because we'll be adding some other colors to the sides and I don't want it to be too thick make sure it's flat again and then cutting off the corners because it looked better that way now I'm cutting a thin strip of brown and a thin strip of tan or peach and then I'm cutting out little squares and putting it around the base so that looks nice I think that's how the dirt looked in the video game if I'm right if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. Rolling it out, and making sure it's all flat. And I'm using some of this, I don't know what it's called, Granny Apple or Granny Smith? I don't know the name of it. Using a light green. So here I'm just making little grass effects. Or not effects, cutting out little blades of grass. This will go around the edges. Just attaching it right here. And I'm using my hand to seal the two pieces of clay together so there's not a gap in between them. Making sure it's flat. Using my toothbrush to give a grass effect. Making sure Sonic will fit. Yep. After baking that, I'm just going to gloss Sonic with gloss that's... Um, what is it? Gloss Glaze is... Sculpey Gloss Glaze is the um, brand I'm using. Adding a little bit to the grass. Not too much. Just using the toothbrush to get it deeper in there. Well, I put a little bit too much on that time. Now using some Satin Glaze for his gloves arms and boots since those are not shiny 
I got a little piece of wire and put that up through his foot and down into the base of the platform. That one's just a little bit too long. Just cutting off a small amount. Trying that out. Oh, it fits. So next, we'll just have to glue it. Nope, nope. I cut out another one just in case. Okay, now adding some glue to the end of the wire, putting that in, making sure that it will be sturdy so that he can stand up, gluing him on, putting glue on the bottom of his feet, and just holding it for a little bit so that it will dry. And we're finished.